A dam is a barrier that restricts the flow of water and can be used to collect the water. And this water may be utilized for many purposes. A dam can be constructed using different kinds of materials. In earth dams, the construction material is rocks and soil. The water that the dam holds flows from upstream through the voids present in the soil of the body of the dam to the downstream by the action of hydraulic head difference. This phenomena of movement of water through the soil is called seepage. In the previous video, we have determined the quantity of seepage through the body of an earth dam with a horizontal filter at its downstream. Here, in this video, we will discuss the shape of the phreatic line in an earth dam when no filter is provided and seepage water exits from the downstream face of the dam. This is an earth dam and it retains the water up to the height h. We assume that the foundation of the dam is impermeable and the water will only seep through the body of the dam. We know seepage through an earth dam is the case of unconfined flow, of which the upper boundary is not known, which is the top flow line. Kesegrane observed that the shape of this top flow line, which is also called the phreatic line, is close to the basic parabola for most of its length. So, he recommended, it can also be taken as basic parabola with necessary corrections at the upstream and downstream faces manually, so that it conforms to the basic conditions of the flow net, such as flow line should be perpendicular to the equipotential line. So, to obtain the phreatic line, first we need to draw the base parabola, and for that, we take the downstream point of the dam as the focus F of the parabola and also its origin. Also, we name few points in the diagram. Cassegrane also recommends that this seepage parabola curve starts from a point, say point H, on the upstream. If we take the horizontal projection of the wet upstream face of the dam on the water surface as GI, then the distance of this point H from the point G on the face of the dam GH is given as 0.3 times GI. Now we can obtain the parabola's directrix using the property of the parabola that states the distance of any point on the parabola from the directrix and its focus is equal. Point H is on the parabola and F is the focus of the parabola. Distance of this point H from the focus and the parabola's directrix should be equal. So, to obtain the directrix, we extend the upstream water level and using the compass of length HF, make an arc that cuts this extension. From this point, we draw a perpendicular to the base of the dam and we get our directrix. Then we determine the intermediate points of the curve using the same parabola property. We join all those points to find our base parabola. Now to draw the phreatic line from this parabola, we will have to make some corrections. For the correction at the upstream, we draw a perpendicular line to the upstream face AB at point G from where the top flow line originates and gradually blend it into the parabola curve manually. For the correction at the downstream, we need to understand few things. When horizontal filter is not provided, the seepage line cuts the downstream face of the dam and the downstream face acts as the discharge face. We usually do not permit this to happen because when the seepage water exits from the downstream face of the dam, it may carry away the dam material with it, which may cause to create pipe-like openings. This phenomena, called piping, may cause the failure of the downstream slope or the whole dam. 
the downstream face of the dam is inclined with the horizontal this inclination of the discharge phase is described relative to the bottom boundary flow line as angle beta and is measured clockwise in case of horizontal filter the angle between bottom flow line and the discharge phase is this and beta is 180 degree in case of a discharge phase of being a rock tool this angle beta is greater than 90 degree in case of discharge phase of being the downstream phase the angle beta will be less than 90 degree phreatic line meets differently with different types of discharge phases when beta is 180 degree phreatic line meets the discharge phase exactly as the base pair of when beta is a greater than 90 degree phreatic line drops vertically on the discharge phase when beta is less than 90 degree the phreatic line meets the discharge phase tangentially and extends towards the toe of the dam so in both of these cases an additional correction at exit is required when beta is less than 90 degree the basic parabola goes outside the downstream phase let's say the base parabola cuts the dam at the downstream at some point g and meet the horizontal at point k the actual phreatic line in this case curves to meet the downstream discharge phase tangentially at some point say l below the point j this deviation jl is the distance by which the basic parabola has to be shifted to obtain the actual phreatic line it is called the exit correction and it is denoted as delta a and this distance jf is written as a plus delta a but how do we know how much we have to shift the parabola what is the value of delta a well kasagrane observed this delta a varies with the downstream slope angle beta so he gave a chart for the exit correction delta a the distance by which the basic parabola has to be shifted to locate the point where the actual seepage line cuts the discharge phase in the chart we can notice that the exit correction delta a is zero when the angle beta is 180 and if we remember we also did not have to apply the exit correction in the case of horizontal filter once we obtain delta a an arc of delta a length is cut on the downstream phase and the base parabola curve is joined at this point to obtain the actual phreatic line so this is how we create the phreatic line for an earth dam when the seepage water exits from the downstream phase of the dam we should keep in mind that this chart is applicable only when the downstream slope angle beta is greater than or equal to 30 degree now let's try to estimate the seepage through an earth dam with the discharge angle less than 30 degree let us consider any section of the flow and name it pq as we know the flow of free water through the soil is governed by the darcy's law we can write a discharge through this section as q equal to k a i k is the permeability of the dam material a is the area of cross section through which seepage water is passing and i is the hydraulic gradient with which water is flowing through this section say coordinates of point p is x y then height of this section which is at distance x from the origin is y let's calculate the discharge for unit width of the dam so area of this section can be written as y into 1 let's say a slight distance dx away from this section we observe a head difference of dy 
so hydraulic gradient causing the flow at this section can be written as change in head over the distance or which this change occurred that is dy by dx according to jufit's assumption hydraulic gradient for a dam having discharge phase angle less than 30 degree is equal to the dy by dx so we assume that the hydraulic gradient is same at all the locations throughout the dam which means for beta less than 30 degree the length of flow becomes so long that it roughly becomes straight line with uniform gradient so we can write discharge through this section as this we can see discharge through this section is equal to the discharge through this section because whatever amount of water coming from here is going through this section as foundation is impermeable now at this section because of the geometry it is easier to determine the value of hydraulic gradient and height of the cross section we know this angle as beta and this length as small a so height of this section y can be written as a sin beta now at dx distance away from this section change in head is dy we can notice this angle is also beta let the length of this section be anything say z so by this triangle we can determine the value of dy and dx as z sin beta and z cos beta so hydraulic gradient can be written as sin beta divided by cos beta that is 10 beta so discharge can be written as this now in this equation only unknown is a and once we know the a we can calculate the discharge through the dam a can be find out by equating the discharge through any section of the dam and the discharge through this section of the dam by integrating and applying simple mathematics we arrive at a very simple equation which gives us the value of a now let's try to estimate the seepage through an earth dam with the discharge angle greater than 30 degree but less than 60 degree no we will attempt no such dangerous task but one thing to remember is that when beta was less than 30 degree we calculated discharge through the dam using jupiter's assumption that hydraulic gradient will be dy by dx but when beta is greater than 30 degree and less than 60 degree kessel and i suggested that hydraulic gradient is given by dy by ds where the distance s is measured along the curve again after some easy calculations we find the discharge through the dam as this and the value of a in this case as this to arrive at these equations we use some approximations and for discharge angles greater than 60 degree the error because of those approximations become large so we do not use this method for beta greater than 60 degree but one important thing to notice here is that in both the cases of the value of a that is the distance of exit point of the seepage line from the top of the dam at the discharge phase does not depend on the amount of seepage discharge it is completely dependent upon the geometry of the downstream stream if you like elementary engineering videos you may support it through multiple ways you can buy elementary engineering's handmade diaries at professor or you can become a member of the channel by joining it here on the youtube or you can buy elementary engineering a cup of tea at pay or you can become a patron on patreon or you can simply spread the word about elementary engineering. only your support keeps elementary engineering going read shape of phreatic line in earth dam without filter at elementaryengineeringlibrary.com 
all the links are in the description thank you